give it a couple minutes because I know Facebook does not like to notify people. I'm gonna throw some pillies on. We'll wait a couple seconds, minutes, whatever. Because Facebook does not like the lives lately, just doesn't tell anyone. My morning is going fabulously. I'm having a pretty good day today, thankfully. How is your day going? Let's try. Let's see. Shush. That's good. All kinds of notifications and things. Fun, fun. So, I can't, I don't know how to share a picture, but um, today I'm gonna redo my very first Manny. On this hand, and then add lots of fun pretty things to it and upgrade it um, based on the experience that I have gained over the last six months. I thought it'd be fun. So this is tipped funny. I don't know how that happened. I'm gonna film down here also, because I will post this to YouTube after it's done, um, so that this view can get added to it. Which I know I said before, but last time, technology didn't like me. And this time, I have better stuff that does, so. What am I doing here? Nope, that's not what I want.
but I got rid of all of the pesky notifications that are not relevant to life right now. Kadoki dokes. All right, so we're gonna use Atomic Orange. Would help if I hit start on that. I'm gonna use Atomic Orange and 90s Baby because they were the colors for my first nanny. And then I got fun stuff to add here once we do this part. Using my double dip, double dip liquids. I have poly gel on that I shaped to be similar to the shape of the tips I used um, for my first mani. I didn't want to take the poly gel off. I didn't want to mess with that. So I didn't. Hello, beautiful! And this is doing weird things. How is your morning? I still hate dipping my thumb just as much as when I started. It feels weird and it doesn't cooperate like the rest of my fingers. Bring it on camera here. So when I first started dipping six months ago, I got the neon starter kit from Double Dip. And both the um, both these colors came with it, as well as a green, a blue, and a purple. Got a little bit extra. What was your guys's first dip experience like? Do you remember? And how long has everybody been dipping?
Sorry, I'm in the world to be in it. Hello. Aha, my comments are being weird. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Yeah, they are backwards. That's the problem. Oh, your first time was doing your daughter's now? That was probably real interesting. I haven't done um, anyone else's nails yet, but I have made some pre-mades and dipped um, full coverage tips before putting them on. Which I'm sure is nothing like doing someone else's nails. Nice. I used to do acrylics. That's where I got my start a few years ago. Um, but I had stopped doing them. And I hadn't done my nails with any kind of like extension, just painting them here and there um, for like two years when I started dipping. But I started with acrylics. And they can be a pain. I definitely like dipping better. I've learned that while my the double dip base does dry really quickly it does not dry nearly as quickly as i thought it did in the beginning i moved crazy fast um for my first mani because i thought that the glue would dry a lot faster than it did <laughs> um Like, I thought I had seconds to dip it in the dip, and you don't. You've got a little bit. Yes, I definitely think that dipping comes out thinner. Yeah, the only time my nails are long is with either acrylic or dip over them. They don't grow really on their own at all. Which is a little sucky, but that's what tips and poly gel and all of that fun stuff is for, right? I feel like acrylic's harder to control um, in terms of like the thickness. So short of buffing forever after, they're gonna be a little thicker. I notice I get really quiet and focused whenever I have these in my hand. And I think it's because I'm like 
super, super paying attention so I don't murder myself with it. Welcome to what it, I'm confused. Welcome to the cosmetic world. I'm not sure what that comment is referring to. Sorry. trying to stay on this camera too and I don't know how good a job I'm doing so I apologize. Yes, Bodhi is hanging out taking a nap in my lap today. He insisted. And as long as there's not another debacle where he jumps on my table and knocks my powders over, that's acceptable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely do use cosmetics to up that self-confidence. I still love these colors so much. <laughs> I have a million more colors than I did in the beginning, but I still adore these two. Did I get... What happened here? I got like orange powder on my pink there, somehow. Very strange. What do you guys think has been your biggest improvement in dipping since you started? Yes, I agree. I think any time boosts and confidence are amazing, but especially right now with the crazy that is the world. Shaping after dipping. Yeah, I think I think my shaping before and after dipping has improved for me. Yeah, filing, filing was a pain in the very beginning, I feel like. Yee. Pink and orange. I'm gonna uh, post a comparison photo of my first one and this one on my Instagram later too. I need to figure out a setup where my camera is closer to me. Like 
keep this down facing one so that I stay on camera. Because I feel like my inclination is to move back closer to myself. Open my camera. Oh, you know what? I know what I'll do. I'll tip my camera the other way. I won't be able to see. But it will. Yeah. Filing took forever for me too in the beginning. I feel like over filing was a thing for me in the beginning too though. Like I didn't need to file near as much as I probably did when I first started. Shaping, yes, that was necessary, but like the filing part of it I definitely, like, didn't need to be as excessive with it. Um, I don't know. The, the, um, orange and pink that I'm using are neon, so they stain my fingers a bit, um, and they're probably staining this, staining this brush, um, but I'm using my brush that I don't care if it stains, um, It, um, certain colors all seem to kind of be stainy, so like orange, red, pink, um, those types of colors. So I tend to use the same brush for any of those kind of colors. Um, that way if it stains, it doesn't mess up. Um, but like my fingers are stained. I don't know if you'll be able to see on that camera. The orange definitely stains my fingers. Dandy dandy activator. Did you guys buy any like tools and like updates as you were like dipping over the last however many months? I did. I bought like an e file and dust collector. I've got a gel light now and gels. Updated my tools. And like what tricks do you think have been the best ones that you've learned over your time dipping? Like what tricks made the most difference to getting a good mani?
An <laughs> obsessive collection. Yeah, I've got a pretty obsessive collection of stuff, too. I have so many colors. But I will probably still continue to buy colors. Oh yeah, the brush. Keeping it clean is definitely important. I think that the biggest trick that I learned that made it my manis come out better were like really silly little things like um, clear coat on top of everything so that you don't buff off your colors and so you don't stain your activator. Just like silly little things you don't think of really, but like the minute someone's like, oh, do this, you're like, oh my God, that's brilliant. And why haven't I done that all along? Yeah, keeping everything you need close by is a good one too. I have a whole, like, stand station thing here. These things are amazing, these little orange blocks. Sometimes I feel like as long as you have an orange block, you'll be okay. Yes, overfiling before you dip is brilliant. And I probably would have never thought of it if not for someone mentioning it. Peel base has been a game changer for my life. I was so glad when I learned about that miracle in a bottle. I've learned over my particular, like, personal dipping journey over the last few months that, like, it's almost impossible for me not to flood my sidewalls because of the way my sidewalls are. Like, my sidewalls are super deep, so I have the choice of either flooding and cleaning them up or having my dip not go all the way to the side of my nail. Like those, those are my options. And I tend to opt to just clean it up.
What kind of things do you guys still want to learn how to do and haven't had the time or opportunity to yet? Like things that you want to go watch tutorials for, but just haven't yet. My, so when I say my sidewalls are deep, like they're obnoxious, like if I don't like actively do the thing, like I have to pull my sidewall down to get the whole side of my nail because it's artwork tutorials. So when you say artwork tutorials, do you mean like general, like how to do certain kinds of artwork or like Okay, so not something specific, like how to step by step create XYZ Nanny, just general, like, here's how we do this kind of added thing or that kind of added thing. How to use foils better. See, I have to do a try this Thursday for foils because I've never used foils before. Um, so that's going to be a try this Thursday. Um, where I do my foils for the first time and you guys can laugh at me <laughs> as I struggle. Where did this glitter come from? <laughs> There's a random glitter on my orange here <laughs> from no place. Oh, I have foils. I just haven't used them. <laughs> I actually think you sent me foils. Oh, now the glitter's gone. There was a random glitter out of no place, and now it's gone. <laughs> foil transfer or foil dips. So I have some foil dips I can totally um, share. Actually, I think I used a foil in a Manny Monday and kind of showed um, the different ways that I put my foils on, but I can totally like do a tutorial and like slow that whole process down. Yes. All right. So let us throw on some top coat here. What happened? I like the rubber thing for like water slide decals and stuff that you have to like rub on. Um, I haven't done too many of those either. I've done that like one time. So the thing to know about top coat is 
if you didn't know. I always leave more on my brush than you're like going to use or supposed to um, because I don't touch my brush to my nail. I like touch it enough that the extra liquid goes on the nail, but my brush doesn't actually touch it. Does that make sense? Afraid of the water decals? Hang on, I started to read that and then I had to like focus. Afraid of the water decals, but you were sent some, so you have to try them. Yeah, I don't mind them. I think they're pretty and like, I think they can come out really nicely. My thumbs are always the naughty child that didn't listen. Always. It never like Especially like the shorter they are. All right. Oh, so water decals really aren't like temporary tattoos because you don't put them on the same way. Um, water decals, you like soak them in water so that the back comes off. And then you place them on your nail, like stick them down, and then you, um, I think you can take the plastic off the top of them. Some of them I think you can and some can't. Um, but yeah, it, you don't like put it on and then like rub it with the water or anything like that. Though I guess like maybe you could do it that way. Baba! No hardened brush. Thumbs and pinkies. I feel like my pinky always behaves the best. Like of all my nails, my pinky nail is always the one that like looks the prettiest. <laughs> Just does what it's told. top coat in my side wall by mistake. Tried really hard not to, but it happened anyway.
behaved the best, but didn't try. Go figure. Yeah, we got our first snowstorm over the weekend, too. It was pretty, and I, like, love snowflakes in theory. But, um, I'm not happy that it's snowing. Not happy about the snow at all. I don't like cold. Just don't like it. So that is our redone first Manny six months later. With the exception of my thumb, <laughs> I definitely can see the improvements that come with six months worth of dipping. I did not get out a color to stamp with. That was silly of me. wonder if I can reach this cabinet without waking up the puppy. dress back down. Alrighty. So, adding the extra pretties. Now that I've been at the six months and we know the things, right? I just don't like being cold. I love snow and like it's snowing, but I think it belongs in the movies and I need to live where it doesn't do it. Um, like I love snowflakes. Snowflakes are a thing. I think they're gorgeous. But um, not about being cold. Not about it. There's always two nails, usually one on each hand, but there's always like two nails that don't want to do what I tell them to, and the top coat doesn't want to behave itself. Is that a couple seconds, minutes? Pull it out the stamper plate. The maniology plate. I'm gonna use this one right here.
<laughs> yeah. It's supposed to snow on Christmas Day, and that's it. One day a year, snow should happen. And then it should go away. 100%. Snow on Christmas, and then no more. Well, Oh, of course it didn't. Ridiculous. Where is my thing? I don't know where anything is, so. Sometimes. Sometimes the uh, stamp will stamp off onto like clothy fabric stuff. You don't have to worry about it. Not always. Yeah. I agree with that. I can start on Christmas Eve. But then it has to vacate by the 26th. We're gonna roll with it. It's not the best stamp I've ever done, but no, I um, I have one of the stamper station book things. Um, it's basically like a like what the lint roller is, but it's paper. Um, I don't, some of the lint rollers have like stuff in them and it like sticks to your stamper. These are my double dip gels. I learned very quickly that, um, stamps and top coat, dip top are not friends. Um, the dip top coat smears them. Pretty excessively. So I switched to gel. 
for my stamps. Clean those once I'm done here. Yeah, the first time as I tried stamping, I used top coat and uh, was very sad. <laughs> and then I thought like I wasn't gonna be able to stamp and I was like, mm, maybe it's just this thing that I'm putting on top of it. Um, so I tried like a regular clear nail polish and I didn't smear it then. So I was like, oh, well. What can we do to use something else, but still get the same hardness and stuff? I was like, oh yeah, gels. I've always been very leery of gel because um, I'm super sensitive to it. I get that like burn that happens for like next to no reason. Um, like the smallest amount of gel sometimes will make my fingers burn. Um, so I have to do super thin coats, but it definitely works better than smearing. Um, also, I got a really nice little light that's like meant to avoid the heat spikes somehow, and it seems to do its job. Oh, it says there's a few people watching. Not many people are commenting, though. Sally Hansen and I aren't friends. <laughs> I can never seem to get um, any of her products to work for me. There's our pretty stamp. Show you guys, it says, get your nails done. I'm gonna use this gold striping tape stuff that I have not used before, so hopefully this goes well. First timer! It can be that hard though, right? Like, it's not that big a deal. Everybody uses it. tougher one-handed. 
probably works much better when you have two hands doing somebody else's nails. Oh my god. This might be crappy tape too, if I'm being honest. Came in a little kit thing I got. I win. Yes, he's snoring. The pupper is snoring away. He decided it was nap time, just as I was setting up to do the live. So, he's a sleeping and a snoring. I'm going to add some of these silver, I don't know if you'll see on this camera, silver hearts to my ring finger and thumb. And then we'll be all done.
I like to use my gel base to glue down my stuff. Um, I think it just works out better because I can move slower and actually place them better. Um, but I know a lot of people that use their regular dip base to put their stuff on. Goodness, why are we arguing about this? Listen, you're going on. Get over it. I need to get one of those wax glitter gem picker upper things. Sorry, I had to fix where it popped up before it. The snowflakes are so fun. I have been making a couple pre-made sets with the glitter snowflakes. Um, these hearts are actually from Double Dip also. I just argue with them because the only option I have to get them out of the little container is these little gem tweezer things and they don't work as well as I would have liked. I'm arguing with inanimate objects. Don't mind me. Come here. I love chunky glitters, but they can be such a pain sometimes. Yeah, from what I've seen, the the wax, I guess a crayon works too, 
but I have no idea where my crayons are right now, so I haven't tried that. Once I find my crayons, I'll probably try that before I go and buy like a tool thingy, but Why does it speak in French? Just putting on some gel top coat. Then we will be all done with this man. Oh, it's probably got the wrong, does it always speak in French or just when it's got low battery? Because it might be, um, it might have the wrong settings. Only downside to gel is that like waiting cure time. But it's not near as long as waiting for like nail polish to dry. So it's forgiven. My phone is blowing up. I think one of the group chats I'm in is like, things are happening and I'm missing it. that my lovelies is our recreate and upgrade this is fun I definitely can tell I've made some 
improvements in my application since I started back in June. My thumb is still my problem child though. I don't know if that will ever be remedied. But I will say bye for now. Um, I'm going to put this view and that view together um, and put the replay on YouTube instead of um, in the group. Actually, I'll leave the live replay in the group too, um, but I will put the replay together for YouTube so that you can see the things I was doing over here um, if you want to. And in a little bit here, I will be putting up a video on YouTube, sorry, um, showing how to do the snowflake nails I did. Um, and thanks guys for hanging out with me. And later on today slash this evening, I will be doing a drawing for my six month dipversary anniversary dipping giveaway. So if you haven't yet, make sure that you have done the steps to get entered into the giveaways um, so that you have a chance to win the gift box that I'm going to be mailing out to the winner. All right. So have a good day, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you all again very soon.